Hi, I'm Rob Luke Key with Shop Prop Realty. To get back to you on the second half of this year, what's going on with the market. I spoke at the end of last year that I thought that the market would start to drop as we approach the second half of this year. You can look at any of my updates and that I thought that would be a buying opportunity. I also told our clients that that were buying in March and April of this year in February that you could see that drop, right? But yours, it's a trade-off. You can lock in low interest rates at that point and expect the market to drop and or wait and buy at lower prices. You might have to pay higher interest rates and that's what we're seeing right now. And then as the, as the market starts to come back around, maybe you could potentially lock in some lower rates as interest rates fall over the next couple of years. Bottom line is, is that I believe that the market is probably going to start to stabilize as we approach the end of the year. And as we go into next year, we're about you know, six, seven, six months into this kind of slowdown to drop in real estate prices. Average recession lasts, lasts about seven to nine months. This one probably will last a little bit longer just because we have the Fed, right? There's an old saying, don't fight the Fed. And so we know the Fed is working to keep prices down in general and even have prices drop. So it'll depend on when that changes to their thought process on when, when interest rates start to shift and move the other way. When we see those inflation numbers, even though I think they've peaked, when we see the inflation numbers really start to come down. And when wages actually catch up to home prices, that's an important thing too. Regardless of that, I did buy an investment property. I taught, I spoke to everybody that I'd be looking to buy something at the second half of the year. I bought this property up here. It's a condo on Lake uh, Sammamish in, in Washington. I'm going to be looking at potentially buying one other property by the end of the year, either in Austin or Bay Area or potentially in the Seattle area again. Regardless of, regardless of that, like I said, I think it's a short term uh, change and obviously real estate prices. Our goal at Shop Prop, it always has been, is to provide our clients a full service experience at the with the largest buyer rebate so that when you're buying a home, you get a big chunk of cash that you can use towards paying down your interest rate. That, that helped me, even on this condo that I bought, even though I put 50% down, my interest rate was high. I used my commission back to buy down that rate, pay for closing costs. It made my, it just makes sense. Uh, I, I, selling houses, our clients that are selling houses, they're getting full service without having to pay that huge commission out. It's not necessary. Our overall goal long term, obviously, on a bigger scale is to create a one worldwide MLS where it makes it very inexpensive to transact business for buyers, sellers, and agents. So that agents, regardless of what kind of service and what kind of price they want to charge their clients, they're going to be able, it's going to be less expensive for them so they can give a better deal to their uh, clients, number one, but that it's more efficient in transacting business back and forth. That's our overall goal. Uh, I mean, really, Buying and selling real estate is a very easy transaction for the most part. People make it a lot more complicated than it is. And it's, and it's basically because all those shows on that you see right now currently on uh, you know, HDTV, you see it on you know, all these reality TVs with all these you know, really just ridiculous agents that are completely highballs, making it seem like it's an enormously difficult transaction when it isn't. It's nothing but a simple snow job to get people to pay more commission and to pay this expensive, that make housing actually less affordable for people. So you can either be on that side, which you can pay people whatever you want, or you can be on this side of people that are trying to make a more efficient market that is more affordable for everyone and it doesn't cost you a huge amount of equity to buy and sell a piece of property. Anyhow, I hope that helps. Everybody have a great day.